My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 45 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at preparation of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. To prepare any compound, there are two different methods. The laboratory method and the industrial method. Labora laboratory preparation is used to prepare elements or compounds in small quantity. But if you want to produce on a large scale, for selling, for export, for business, you therefore need to prepare in the industry. So, preparation of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas in the lab. There are two major ways to prepare hydrogen gas. The first one is displacement from dilute acid by metal. Displacement of dilute acid from dilute acid by metal. Other acid bases and source and under the chemical properties of acids i explain that whenever an acid reacts with metals hydrogen will be displayed why you get salt and hydrogen acid reacts with bases to form salt and water but when acid reacts with metal hydrogen will be given off and salt will be formed for example tetraoxosulfate 6 acid React with Mg magnesium, you will form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. This is salt and this is water. Therefore, take note that one way to prepare hydrogen in the lab is acid plus metal. Hydrogen gas will be given off. The second way is displacement from water using metal. Whenever metal reacts with water, Hydrogen gas will also be given off. For example, sodium in solid state reacts with water in liquid state to give us sodium hydroxide, which is a base plus hydrogen gas. Although, when metals react with water, hydrogen gas is given off, not all the metals have the privilege of removing hydrogen from any water at all. There are levels to things. The elements in the electrochemical series that are higher up, for example, popular scientists can potassium, calcium, magnesium, all these ones, they can liberate hydrogen from cold water. Sodium, potassium, sodium, and calcium, they can remove hydrogen from cold water. But the ones that are lower cannot remove hydrogen from cold water. For example, Magnesium, popular scientists can make magnesium, can only liberate hydrogen from hot water. So, if magnesium reacts with cold water, hydrogen gas will not be displaced. Hydrogen gas will not be produced. But if magnesium reacts with hot water, hydrogen gas will be formed. Now, the ones that are lower than magnesium, popular scientists can make a zoo. In tin load, zinc, iron, and lead can only remove hydrogen from steam, that is water gas. Zinc, iron, and lead cannot remove hydrogen from cold water, they cannot remove hydrogen from hot water, they can only remove hydrogen from steam. In essence, when metals react with water, hydrogen will be displaced. However, metals like Potassium, sodium, and calcium can remove hydrogen from cold water and they can as well remove hydrogen from other states of water. But for magnesium, only hot water. For zinc, iron, and lead, only steam. Let's see the industry. Under industrial processes, I told you that Bosch process is the industrial process used in 
the preparation of hydrogen. And hydrogen is formed from water gas in the Bosch process. CO plus H2 together are referred to as water gas. And the second way to prepare hydrogen in the laboratory, no, in the industry, yes, is electrolysis of water, dilute H2SO4 and sodium chloride. The ions present in water are basically H plus and OH minus. And electrolysis or electrolytic cell has the direct current source, the electrolytes, which are compounds that dissociate when direct current is passed through them. We have the electrodes, anode, positive electrode, cathode, negative electrode. Now, in electrolysis, the ion or the electrolyte goes down. Water, we have hydrogen ion and hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion is the positive ion, cation. Hydrogen ion is the negative ion, anion, OH minus. So the positive ion migrates to the cathode. The negative ion, OH minus, migrates to the anode. One of the products of electrolysis of water is simply hydrogen gas being given off. And the third way to prepare hydrogen in the industry is the action of steam on coke. If water in gaseous state like steam reacts with coke, that is carbon, you form CO and hydrogen gas is given off. These are ways to prepare hydrogen. How about oxygen? The laboratory preparation of oxygen is a very interesting and popular one. The first way to prepare oxygen in the lab is decomposition of potassium triozochlorate. Now, potassium triozochlorate what? 3 times 2 is 6, minus, 3 times minus 2 is 6, minus 1, 5. So this is potassium triozochlorate 5. When you heat potassium triazochlorate 5 in the presence of catalyst manganese 4 oxide, you will give you will get water and oxygen gas. When potassium triazochlorate 5 is heated in the presence of a catalyst manganese 4 oxide, hydrogen gas, no oxygen gas, yes, is given off. The second way to prepare oxygen in the lab. Is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in the presence of catalyst manganese 4 oxide when hydrogen peroxide decomposes you will get water and oxygen gas will be liberated how about in the industry to prepare oxygen in the industry one you carry out fractional distillation of liquefied air what is liquefied air air is a mixture it contains carbon for oxide, oxygen, argon, impurities, and so on. When you remove carbon for oxide from air using trapping agents, that should be caustic soda, it will prevent the air from solidifying even when cooled so much. In that case, the air has been liquefied. If you carry out the fractional distillation of this liquefied air, you are going to get oxygen gas and the second way to get oxygen gas or to prepare oxygen gas in the industry is electrolysis of water which means that we can get both oxygen and hydrogen in the industry using electrolysis of water there are the various products hydrogen ion will be the product at the cathode oxygen ion will likely be the product at the anode so Electrolysis of water is giving us these two guys. Ladies and gentlemen, preparation of hydrogen and oxygen gas. Did you find this helpful? Yes. See you in the next episode. And before you go, please make sure you install the Flash Learner Jam app and begin to play with questions. In fact, that app alone is enough to make you pass. Only the app is important. As you learn all this, Jam will set this exactly like this. Exactly. So when you look at the question, it helps you to refresh your memory. 
And if you have further questions, inquiries, gist, or things you need to share bothering you about your exam, you can't really share with people around, you can always confide in me. Feel free to chat me up. We can be friends. See ya in the next episode.